Hi, John Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location, located roughly about 70 miles from our closest uh, major airport being in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In case you need to come out, uh, visit us to check out this vehicle or any other car that we have in our inventory. Uh, this right now, today, we have a 72 Dodge Challenger here. Uh, now, as you can see, this one's done in the yellow exterior, and it does have the black RT stripe package on it here. And again, that's all complete the whole way around the car. Um, now, our car, again, all the body panels are in great shape. Everything lines up nice and straight. All the body lines, all your elevations, and all your gaps are all in really good condition on this car. Our car has the option for the fender mount turn signals, and they are on there. Of course, this is the stock hood for it there. We do have the 344 barrel emblems on the hood. However, that is not what's underneath the hood. We'll talk about that once we get to that point. As far as our wheels and tires go on this car, you can see we've got the traditional look, the rally wheels here, the Chrysler rally wheels. These are 14 inch wheels up front, and then we have 15 inch wheels on the back. So they did a little bit with the rake of the car with the wheels, and then also with the tire sizes too. But we do have BF Goodrich radial TAs the whole way around the car, and all good tread on those. Now again, as we walk back the side of the car here, you can take a look at the gaps on the door. All the body panels fit very good. So again, everything's nice and straight on this car when you look down the side. You can see our glass here is all in good shape. No chips or cracks in the glass. And we have the driver's side remote mirror over here too. Of course, we have the bright drip rod moldings also. And in our rain gutter here, everything looks good too through there, nice and smooth. We're going to open our door up just to take a quick peek on the inside. And you'll see we have the factory black vinyl interior, high back bucket seats, a little bit of wood grain trim on the doors and the dash, factory dash, factory gauges, factory automatic center console there also. So all of which is in very nice shape on this car. And we'll check it out from the other side when we get there. Door shuts super nice and easy, a good, a good flush fit the whole way around. As we walk back here again, you see the R keys on the decals there. We'll come back around the back of the car now. And you'll notice we've got this blacked out tail panel. We've got the black rear trunk spoiler here also. Chrome bumpers on it. You've got the correct lower balance. And again, the correct style of chrome boxed exhaust tips back here. Now we are going to go ahead and open our trunk lid up. That way we can see inside. So the trunk lock itself works, it unlatches, the hinges work, and again the spring works and holds the trunk lid up. You can see our yellow exterior is also on the inside of the trunk lid. The little rubber bump stops are up here also to help cushion that whenever you close it. And of course all of our weather stripping and seals around the trunk lid itself are all in really nice shape. Now again our trunk pan it's all in good condition, all one piece. The little drain plugs are all in there. The black and aqua trunk spatter paint. And we have a nice set of floor mats here in case you would want to use those. And we're going to close this up. And again, you can see it shuts nice. Our gaps and elevations on our trunk lid itself are all really nice on this car too. We walk around the passenger side, you're going to notice we've got that fuel door right here that all the Mopars really had that, that kind of set them apart. You just flip that door open to get into your fuel. So that's a real nice feature on the car. And again, rally wheels, 15's on the back, 14's up front. On our passenger side door, you can also see our gaps here. Elevations are dead on again on this side here. Everything lines up. We'll take a peek on the inside here since we're here. Again, the threshold plates are in nice condition. We have seat belts all throughout the car, both front and rear. Dash is in great shape. There's no cracks in the top of the dash. So again, the interior looks just as good as the exterior. Again, shuts nice and easy. Glass on the passenger side is nice and uh, smooth. No scratches, cracks, or chips whatsoever there. As we come back a little further now towards the front, Again, you'll notice the matching 340 emblem on the hood. And then again, we come all the way up to the front with those RT stripes, those fender mounted uh, turn signals up here too, 
on the opposite side. Now, as far as the hood goes, this is the stock hood for this car. Uh, all the gaps and elevations are good on this car. You see the black striping on here too. Again, part of that RT package. The Dodge emblems up front. Now again, the grill on this one here looks to be in great shape. All black, the Challenger script emblem here. We've got the nice chrome front bumper, headlight bezels, and glass in those lenses are all in great shape. Now we're gonna go ahead and open our hood up here. Let me just find that latch. There it is. And all right. So again, the latch itself works. The hinges, springs, everything holds everything up here as it should. Got the yellow on the underside of that hood, the yellow on the inside of the engine compartment also. Now again, this is a Mopar engine, but it is not the original motor for this car. It is a 318 motor, not the 340 that the emblems would uh, suggest. But again, it's a very peppy 318. Uh, this car has been driven around here a little bit, and it's got all kinds of power for a 318. As you notice, they've got it dressed up with the Mopar Performance uh, air cleaner and the finned aluminum valve covers. We've got a Holly aluminum intake there also. Edelbrock carburetor. Now this is a 500 CFM carb and you're not gonna, not gonna need much of, of, of a carburetor with a 318. So that's plenty. It does have the electric choke. They've went with the stock style distributor in it and coil. Uh, it does have a set of Excel 8 millimeter plug wires in it there to help deliver the spark. Stock cast exhaust manifolds for the exhaust. It does have the dual exhaust and those tailpipes exiting out the rear of the car. Aluminum radiator to help with cooling. We do have, looks to be a, probably a six blade flex fan in there to help cool it. Uh, all your heater lines are hooked up. We do have power brakes. We do have power steering also. And this is, uh, I believe this was front disc brakes and rear drum brakes on the car. Uh, all of this is in great shape under here as you can see, super clean under the hood. This motor here itself is coupled to an automatic transmission. This is the Torque Flight 904 transmission. And then of course it's got the 8 and 3 quarter rear in it as well to finish off that drive run. So that's basically it for our car on the outside and under the hood. Next, we'll get it on the lift so we can go through the underside. All right, so we got our 1972 Dodge Challenger here up on the lift, so we're gonna go through the underside of it here and uh, just kind of show you exactly what's underneath here. That way you get a good idea of what everything looks like underneath here. So starting up front here, as far as front suspension, this is just your typical front suspension for a Dodge Challenger. Uh, it's the strut rod front suspension. You've got your stock upper and lower control arms on here. Um, as far as uh, sway bar, I do not see anything like that on this car. Um, most of the later ones we've been doing, they have had that. This is all stock suspension and steering here. So you got your typical tie rods here. Those are nice and straight. All of the ball joints everywhere here look to be in good shape. All the little rubber dust boot covers, those are all intact. Your drag length looks nice and straight too. Uh, shocks, all, all of that's in good condition. Your front K member here where everything's tied into up front here. This is in good shape too, nice and straight. Doesn't look like it's been hit on anything throughout the years. Uh, as we come back, we'll take a look at the front frame section here. Nice and square, nice and straight the whole way back here with your frame sections here. Also the torsion bar front suspension here, your bushings here in the chassis and the frame, those are in good shape too. Um, so that's your whole front suspension for a Dodge Challenger. Um, now as far as braking components on this car, we do have, uh, it's uh, I believe power brakes, uh, power steering, and we have disc brakes up front, drum brakes on the rear, and then kind of as we walk back here, we'll just take a look at our floors here. So the floors, these are all of your stamped components. There's no flat metal on this car. Again, the floors look to be in really good shape on this car. All good and solid. Now they have been uh, undercoated, but again, it looks to be like it was probably like a factory undercoating uh, and everything looks good. Like I said, there's no patches, um, no flat metal. It's all the stamped steel components. Your rear frame sections, those are just as nice as the front, nice and square, nice and straight as they go up over the dog legs here. And then as far as the drive line, 
This is a 318 motor in this car. Uh, now it's not the original motor, but it is a 318 coupled to an automatic transmission. We've got our drive shaft here, which again is a balanced unit here. So that's going to help eliminate any of the uh, you know vibration that there might be in your drive line here. Then of course we've got a Mopar eight and three quarter inch rear end. This is a posi unit here too. Multi-leaf rear suspension. Looks like it's got a set of newer competition engineering uh, shocks here. Um, so everything should feel real good as far as the suspension goes on this car. Stock fuel tank, and that looks to be pretty new too. All of your mounting hardware, the straps and everything look to be in great condition on this car. As far as the exhaust, we're starting with stock exhaust manifolds up front. Dual exhaust all the way back. Now we do have these tube style uh, mufflers back here. Dual exhaust. Again, correct tailpipes up over top of the rear end. And of course, out the rear lower balance with those chrome box exhaust tips out the back. Um, it does have the emergency brake all hooked up here. So front cables, all of your correct frame hooks, intermediate cable, rear cables, all functional. And as far as wheels and tires, it's got the stock look to it. We've got the factory uh, steel rally wheels on this um, with the beauty rings and the centers. Now they do have 14 inch wheels up front, 15s on the back, BF Goodrich radial TAs, both front and rear matching tread. Uh, but we've got two 1560 R5, R, R14s up front and we have the two 5560 R15s in the back so they did that little bit of rake with it in both the wheel and tire on the front going a little smaller going a little bigger on the back so that's pretty much it for underneath our challenger